It's been forever, I know, since the last time I came on camera and spoke to y'all. Y'all, first of all, welcome to Q2. Welcome to the next three months of the year, April, May, and June, fresh start. Um, yeah, y'all, I had to put the camera down for a little bit, only for a little bit, because I wanted to do this challenge that I saw on Instagram where I pretty much dedicated myself to posting a reel every single day for the month of April to see how it helps with, you know, my stuff being thrown into the algorithm. And so, so far it's been up and down, but it's only week one. So, you know, we'll get the gist of it eventually. And hopefully I see the fruits of my labor from it. But yes, y'all, I had to take a little minute because that required a lot of planning, a lot of filming, a lot of editing. I still have a lot of planning, filming, editing. Like I had so much stuff filmed for this vlog that by the time I sat down to edit it, I was like, yo, this was so long ago. I'm not even gonna put these clips in. I'm gonna just start over. So, yeah. It's been a scary week, y'all. <laughs> a scary week. First of all, New York City had a freaking earthquake. I phone with my husband like, babe, I think there's an earthquake happening. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I think there's an earthquake. So I start panicking. And he's like, wait, no, go run outside because I see the building shaking. I see the windows shaking. I go outside and everyone's outside. I realized in that moment, like, if something was to hit the fan, like, I would freeze. Because I literally did. I literally was just holding Journey like... There's an earthquake happening. There's an earthquake happening. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And then the aftershock part was, like, scary for me, too, because I've never experienced an earthquake. But the aftershock part, like, just the idea of it was freaking me out. Yeah, it was freaking me out, you guys, because of the fact that I just didn't know what to expect. So I literally got Journey dressed and was like, we're going to sit by the door. Because if any aftershock comes, I don't want to be upstairs in my room. I want to be downstairs where I could just go. Don't ask me where I was going, child. <laughs> Don't ask me where I was going. Um, but yeah, so that happened. And right now, we in the middle of a solar eclipse. Like, I don't know. If if God is coming, like, I just need him to just, like, know. I am one of his children. I love him dearly. These last few days have been scary. Like, the solar eclipse is literally happening now. So, y'all, originally my plan for today was take Journey outside, but I didn't know that the eclipse is going to start at 2 o'clock, and I finished cleaning, like, maybe at 1 something. I was like, I'm not trying to be outside when this is happening just because I can control myself from not looking at the sun, but if Journey just wants to happen to look up, yeah, no. So, we're going to play the house. It's, like, literally about to be 4 o'clock now, and I really don't have nothing to do. I have some brownies that I really, really want to make. So if I have all the ingredients, we're going to make some brownies. And then tomorrow will be more of like an eventful day because the weather in New York is supposed to be really, really nice. But in good news, too, I want another giveaway. I want another giveaway. And girl, it's for a sewing, okay? So I don't know if you guys follow. I'll put her Instagram stuff here. Her name is Jillian Garcia. And she's a very, 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 very great hairstylist. Like when I tell you like her color and cut is phenomenal okay phenomenal like and i'm not even trying to glaze her or anything like her color and cut like i'll post like something here for y'all to see but she does such an amazing job and i've been trying to book her since 2022 she's so booked up to the point where she only takes like her loyal clients like you can't even book her like she has two stores i think she has one in new york and i believe in chicago i'm not sure don't quote me but her work is phenomenal so anyways she was doing a giveaway um and it was just to comment under a picture of her daughter what you know i guess how she's a supermodel to you and i basically made my little comment um but yeah y'all she picked my comment and i get a free sewing makeover so here i go like let me go find some bundles i hit her up and asked her like you know what kind of hair should i get and she was like oh no you don't need to buy the hair like what so she asked me when did I want to do it and typical me would have been like yeah let's do it next week but strategic me wants to do it around Mother's Day so I could just have like a fresh look for Mother's Day so I'm so happy <laughs> like I'm so happy because as much as I love my bob it's in the stage now where it's like growing back but not long enough like the back of it is like coming to the front it's annoying 
But yeah, I'm about to go eat something and feed Journey. She's obviously having this time of her life with this ring pop. And I'll see y'all when it's time to make the brownies. You guys, so today is another day. And I still look crazy, but it's cool because we in the house anyways. Um, Yeah. Y'all, I never ended up making the brownies that I said I wanted to make because... I didn't have enough eggs, and I did not feel like I want to get no eggs to make the brownies yesterday. But I'm going to make the brownies today. I don't know what it is, but I've been craving brownies for like a week now. And yeah, I need some brownies in my life. Like, my period literally ended like two, three days ago. So I don't understand what the craving is about, but we're going to make some brownies today. Um, I was a little annoyed this morning, y'all, because why my landlord decided he wanted to come today to fix stuff that we were asking him to fix like from months ago. And yeah he decided to come today when it's a beautiful day it's supposed to be 78 degrees or not 78 it's supposed to be like 73 degrees today and i wanted to be outside like early it's going on two o'clock now journey is taking her nap like i just felt so annoyed like first of all when he texted me i didn't even respond because it was so late when he texted me that i ended up falling asleep and he texted me to come at nine o'clock this morning he woke me up out my sleep i was in the bed and my doorbell rang so i woke, I woke up annoyed child i was annoyed so he just left, Journey's sleeping, and yeah, I'm like torn between waking her up so we could go outside or just let her sleep so that when we get to the park, she has all her energy. I honestly, you guys, just kind of feel like I don't know what to do with my contents. Like, this is just going to be like a little transparency like moment in the vlog. So if y'all don't care about it, skip past it, but... I don't know what to do with my content. I feel so stagnant. I feel like nothing is like taking off for me. Like, I don't know what it is. I know it's only been a week since I started like the Instagram challenge. And it's like, I keep seeing like my engagement fluctuating. Like it's going up and it's going down. Same thing with my YouTube. Like, I feel like y'all only fuck with my surgery content. Like y'all care about like the lifestyle and stuff. But like majority of my views and like analytics comes from the surgery content. I don't got it like that to keep with my body done. Y'all want to see me get my body done over and over and over. Y'all need to watch these videos and tap in so I can get the money to do it. Like, nah, let me stop. I'm not going to do that. But still, like, I just feel so stagnant. And I'm not trying to say, like, I'm discouraged or, like, I don't want to do it anymore. But it's just kind of like I sat down. I planned. I structured, like, all of these different content ideas, how I'm going to film them, how I'm going to edit them, how I'm going to post them, when I'm going to post them. And I just kind of feel like the expectation versus the reality is just not it for me. Like, it's not it for me. And I don't know, like, I just don't know where to go, like, with my content anymore. Like, I have these conversations with my husband. And he's like, put more personality into your stuff, like be funny and do stuff like that. And I just feel like, y'all, that's not me. Like, I feel like y'all going to get it how... I am like, I don't know how to be something that I'm not like, even if I try my hardest, I can't be like, yo, what's up y'all? Welcome to my channel. It's just Keisha. Like, that's just not me. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's what y'all want to see or like, it's just not me. I don't know. This is just like my little TED talk or my little venting session because you know sometimes you feel like you're trying you're trying you're trying you're trying you're trying like I've been doing YouTube since almost six years now like yeah I've not been consistent at all this is probably like the most consistent I have been on social media but I've been doing YouTube for like almost six years now and I feel like literally I've just been stagnant flatline like I don't know what to do I don't know what content to post I've tried try on hauls I've tried like the tech stuff I've tried makeup stuff I try vlogs I've tried everything like I don't know what to do and I feel like lifestyle is a niche for me because I'm always doing all of those things anyways it's not like I'm just a makeup guru or I'm just a foodie junkie or, or a food junkie or whatever I literally do all of these things. I incorporate it in all of my videos. And I just don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to stop chomping y'all's head off with my words. I am literally about to try to get myself ready so that I could get Journey ready when she finally wakes up. She's, like, taking the only power nap right now downstairs. So I'm going to try to get her ready and try to get myself ready so that when she, it's time to get her ready, it's just get her ready and go. And, yeah. Next time I see y'all, we'll be at the park enjoying this beautiful day.
Hey, Mama's is having the time of her life right now on this swing. Actually, like really hot out. I'm so happy I didn't put a jacket on her. Oh. <laughs> really play it let me see hold on y'all oh I messed up and I think that was Mary had a little lamb go for it journey it's so nice out here journey looks like she's about to knock out though like she's literally just in her stroller chilling right now drinking some juice but I feel like it's a lot hotter than they said it was going to be. Vlogging in public is still so awkward to me. But can we take a moment, y'all, and just get into my hair? Like, it's literally growing back so nice to me and so thick. I'm going to do, I'm probably going to just take a little walk and let her get a little bit more fresh air. And then we're going to head back to the house so I can make these brownies, y'all, because I did not forget. Uh, it freaking sounds like I'm going into the wilderness right now. Do y'all not hear all these birds? Bro, but... They're all in there. But also, can we get into my skin too? I posted my skincare routine on Instagram as a real, so y'all go check that out because your girl been posting every single day and like, I've been putting in that work. But yeah, like I tried some new products and my skin is giving. I think what's been working for me is the Good Molecules um, toner. It has don't don't come from my head if I say this word wrong, y'all, but it has niacinamide or whatever that is in it. And I hear any um, skincare product that has that in it is, like, really, really good for your skin. So it's been doing this big one for real, for real. Like, I feel like my skin has really been clearing up, brightening up, and my dark spots is doing what they need to do, which is go the fuck away. I also started back working out, but I've been doing, like, home workouts. Like, I've been doing... This girl that I found on YouTube, I'll link her stuff. She's really good. Like, I've been doing her arm workouts, focusing on arm and back, and then also this tummy because this tummy literally needs to go. I've been trying to tone my booty, but not so much. But my arms and tummy gotta go because I'm literally, literally so close to just telling my husband, like, lipo me. Like, I need lipo. Just get these back rolls and this tummy out because I'm, I'm really not trying to be fat for the summer but yeah so i started back working out and i haven't been filming it because i'm not the most confident right now and when it comes to like my workout routine i know my form is off i struggle a lot with like um just you know not getting out of breath like i hear me i'm trying to walk it talking it's struggling it's a struggle right now so yeah um but yeah so i did jump back into working out y'all get some workout content soon I posted a little thing on Instagram, but it's just like 
a little routine that I do for my butt or whatever. But I'm not in like the gym gym just yet. But y'all get content like that soon if y'all want it. Because again, I don't know what to do with my content just yet. But yeah, your girl is trying to get right in tight for the summertime because summertime is literally about to start like tomorrow at this point. It's 72 degrees right now. But yeah, she's not wasting no time to get here. And we need this tummy gone. the next day i'm so happy that we just came back inside because it just started pouring out right now 
Um, but yeah, how did y'all like my little morning? I think I kind of like these little morning routines to kind of start my portion of the vlog off. Let me know what y'all think about it. But yeah, y'all, I just came back inside. I had to go pick up some stuff. I'm about to make me a nice iced coffee because honestly, I was craving it. I'm not going to hold y'all. I was craving it. But I've never tried this brand before. I've never even heard of this brand before. We're still boycotting Starbucks. So we just have to try these coffees. Um, but yeah, y'all. Comment some cold brews down below for me that I could try because I'm struggling to find good ones. Um, and yeah, then I just got some stuff to cook for dinner. I'm going to make like a stewed chicken with some mac and cheese. And um, yeah. But yeah, I had to just go pick up a few ingredients. And yes, yeah, so I'm about to make me a nice iced coffee. I haven't even eaten breakfast yet and it's like 11 o'clock. Today is giving just chill vibes. Like, it's so rainy and peaceful. This weekend is Juju's birthday weekend, and it's going to be beautiful. We're taking him to see Godzilla because he really wants to see Godzilla. He's obsessed with Godzilla. Everything is Godzilla. So we're taking him to see Godzilla, and he wanted to go to Dave & Buster's. So simple, so easy. I want to get him a nice cake, like Godzilla theme. So y'all might see that in this vlog. His birthday is literally in two days, so I don't know if I have time to do that, but... I'm going to try to get him like a Godzilla cake and we're going to take him to Target because it wouldn't just, it just wouldn't be a birthday if they didn't go to Target, right? To get a, a toy. Like comment down below if you guys take your kids to Target to get toys on their birthdays or like special occasions. That's like our go-to graduations, birthdays. Y'all want to go to Target? It's like automatic yes. <laughs> so we're going to take him to Target to get a toy. Um, and yeah, that's what we got planned for this weekend. I'm so excited but sad at the same time because I can't believe my son is turning six. Like, I'm about to have a 13-year-old, a 6-year-old, and a 1-year-old. So it's kind of crazy. Like, it's literally crazy how fast time flies. Like, it's crazy. Um... But yeah, I'm about to make my iced coffee. I'm starving, so I'm about to make me something to eat, edit a little bit, and then I'll speak to you guys later. I'm feeling vibes on vibes. I'm ticking dynamite. I blow your candle lights. You know I'm just that vibe. No, them no fit kill my vibe. Them no fit kill my vibe. No fit kill. Them no fit kill. Them no fit kill my eyes. I said, full of this talk. Cause you can never do my life But there is no sacrifices Everything was taken You had to make it Bye Pila Me and Lugo take shit Bye Pila So I just got some PR in the mail And we're gonna unbox it together Okay So I'm gonna sit y'all down Right here it's from oh, I'm so not accustomed to getting PR you guys because like little old me getting PR is kind of crazy but we here for it we here for all of the free items so this is from Garnier Fructis here for like and I'll open her up first of all this is a big package it's not huge but it's not big and so it smells good so there's a flap on it and then there's just like a bunch of stuff here. Child, I'm gonna insert a screenshot. <laughs> I'm gonna insert a screenshot. Like this is so clutch because my hair, I'm dealing with postpartum hair loss. Like still, if I, like y'all see, I don't know if y'all can see. But like if I touch my hair, it's literally shedding. Like it's growing back so thick and nice at the same time, but shedding. Like I don't understand how that even makes sense. But yeah. So when we open it up, open it up. Is it too bright? Oh, it's not too bright. Yeah. So we're gonna open this flap, and then these are the plugs. Yes, packaging. Something is lost in here, though. <laughs> Y'all see it? it? Has like more details of the products, and then inside here has like the actual products. So I'm gonna just take this thing off because I feel like one of the things, one of the pack, one of the products. Well, then, yeah. So we have the hair filler, 
um, and bonding. So this is step one, like it has the steps on the box. I took it out, but the steps are here. So rebond, then step two, step three, step four. So this was here. So this is the first step, the rebond, the bonding filler. So this is the treatment for the hair. Um, and then we have step two, which is going to be the strength and repair shampoo. And then step three is going to be condition. And then step four is hair filler vitamin CG serum. Okay, like Garnier, you just got me all the way together. Like, look at this. Uh huh. Um. So yeah, let me put this. Well, actually, there's one more thing in here. Let me move these to the side. And then inside of this little box on the side. Oh, it's so cute. And it says Garnier right there. This is so cute. Yes. My little first PR package. Well, not first, but like real, real PR. I'm so excited to use this stuff because my hair actually needs to be washed. And I actually want to wash it today, but I really don't feel like doing it. So I might wash it tomorrow. But yeah, I'm excited. Shout out to Garnier Fruit Teas for this. I cannot wait to film the content for it and see how it really works for my hair because, like I said, my hair be struggling. How did they do this? Oh, let me just. Not me breaking for them. Package a peanut box with Kichi. So I think this might like this. Let me just put it in here. Maybe this was too heavy and it like sank down. Oh no, it's good now. Alrighty. But y'all, it stopped raining and I have to start cooking. And I really don't feel like cooking because I don't like to clean chicken and I have to clean chicken. It's giving ghetto. But it's best that I do it now because Journey's asleep. And yeah. Believe me if I told y'all that Journey is still asleep. So that's why I started cooking because I had to take advantage. Like when she's up, like it'd be the worst. <sighs> but y'all, I am exhausted. And I just kind of feel like when the kids come home, it's about to be hectic because they don't have school tomorrow. And yeah. So what y'all see me making is like, it's like the dish that I make the most. Um, usually my husband does all of the cooking, but this dish in particular, I like to eat. So I cook it the most. Um, but it's just like stewed chicken with red beans. I'm going to make macaroni and cheese. I got box macaroni because I was going to make macaroni pie, but child, don't nobody have time for all of that today. Like I don't feel like shredding cheese and all of that. Um, so we're going to get box macaroni for today. It's not like it's Sunday, it's Friday. And um, yeah, some rice and call it a day have my brownies for dessert i want to get some ice cream though i should have got some vanilla ice cream when i was at the supermarket earlier um but yeah i want to get some ice cream because the ice cream with the brownie would go so good y'all yeah so i don't know i might go back to the store because i really really want ice cream i don't know what all these cravings is about I'm supposed to be on a weight loss journey and I'm doing the most eat. Now it's starting to look like a little something. It's getting a little bit of color. We gotta let this stew down a little bit more though. Let it cook a little more. Let the gravy get a little thicker. And yeah. Remember when I said if Journey was up, uh, cooking was gonna be difficult and doing all this was gonna be difficult? What are you doing?
What are you doing? Can you come with me? One, two, three, good job. Four, almost there. Five, whoa. <laughs> Six, last one, last one. Yay, good job. But yeah, you guys, I'm almost done cooking and the kids will be home from school now. So y'all know I don't be really vlogging too much when they're home. That's family time. That's dinner time. So I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Another day that I look cray cray. My kids are home and they're driving me crazy. So y'all hear it? Like, just listen. They're driving me crazy. Jules just came into my room to show me all of his drawings. Like he says, he said this is supposed to be a giraffe, y'all. He, uh, y'all. Journey got in my bed this morning and decided she just wanted to rip her diaper off. I dozed off. <laughs> I dozed off while she peed on my bed. So I had to take my sheets off, change my sheets. As I'm changing my sheets, she still doesn't have a diaper on, y'all. She still doesn't have a diaper on. So she pees on the floor. And I don't know, like, she just turned 14 months. Is it too early to start potty training or no? Because she has a potty. She does not like to keep a pamper on, like, at all. But when, <clears throat> excuse me, when we sit her on the potty, she does not want to use it. She gets off. Like, it's almost like she's on punishment. Comment down below, please, any mommies that can relate because her peeing on my bed was just like not it for me. But yeah, y'all. So today's another day. Um, tomorrow's Jules' birthday. I don't know if I'm going to capture any of Jules' birthday in this vlog just because I like to upload my vlogs on Sundays. And if his birthday is on a Sunday, I don't think I'm going to include it. But I'll try to include like some clips in the next vlog or i'm more than likely gonna post the reel about it so yeah so supposed to try to go today to go and pick up his cake or order a cake y'all look at my hair i need to wash my hair it looks so crazy it's so crazy but it's growing but this i don't know what's going on i had it in a ponytail so i guess <laughs> i guess that's why don't judge me i basically spent a majority of the morning like trying to edit some of the footage for this vlog and um yeah Aside from that, the kids have been driving me crazy. So probably a little later on today, I'm going to get up and try to go order the cake. And um, we do have to go get something for Jules to wear for tomorrow. And then, y'all, I have to tidy up his room because I remember I told y'all about the PlayStation. I don't know if I told you about the PlayStation, but yeah, his dad got him a PlayStation 5, PS5, however the young folks say it. And um, yeah, he wants to like have like a nice little area set up for him to play with it so i had to clean his room uh, but yeah so that's kind of the gist of what we have going on today honestly it's not too much it's like really windy really cold outside y'all know i don't like to do too much when it's windy and cold i still don't have my car i miss my car so yeah that's why i've been walking everywhere and I'm not going anywhere because i don't have my car um, it's so crazy how like when I'm driving and stuff, I always vent to y'all be like, I hate driving. I hate driving in New York. And now when sis don't got her car, she's like, I miss my car. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm about to get into. I'm about to go downstairs, make these kids something to eat. Um, honestly, you guys, I may throw in some footage of me getting, um, Jules's cake. If I don't, thank you guys for watching this vlog it's really hard for me to vlog with the kids because they all demand my attention and as you can hear they're always loud so yeah if this is in the end of if this is the end of the vlog thank you guys so much for watching make sure y'all drop any comments show any love in the comment sections and Mom, yes they hit me i've been on a movie and he sat there and grabbed their remote saying that he's gonna change it i said jules don't you I he grabbed the remote while I was in the kitchen and he he tried to change it all the way to the end of the movie. So I grabbed the remote, I got this on, and he threw the remote on the boat and he hit me. And I didn't hear him back. I came to tell because if I hear him, I'm getting trouble. I woke up and I told you first. I don't care. Shush. I don't care. Shush. That's why you're not watching the movie. That's why you don't watch a movie. Yeah, so that's going to be the end of this vlog, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next vlog really, really soon.
Bye, guys. Bye.